me, your kitchen's a little bit on the small side. So I've got to find a way to store my pans and things a little bit better, and I don't know where to do it. But I do have this little plate here, which isn't overly secure, and I think there's a void behind it, which means I can store some of the flatter trays and things a lot easier. But I need to get it off, and I don't actually know how to do that. So uh, we're going to take it off together and find out if there is actually any space for it. And if there is, we're going to make a nice little drawer there. Let's go. Okay, sorry about that. So the plan is to use some of these nice prying equipment to try and get it off. I believe they are attached by clips that look like this. Hopefully there'll be a picture there. If I can't find a picture, you're just looking at my hands. Um, but we're going to try and get it off, and I'm going to try and pry it off. Because um, I think they're just held on by clips. Or not. And don't do that because that rips the entire wood out. Crap. So we do have a void. It's a little bit dusty. But that should be fine. So we're going to make a drawer to fit it. Let's give it a bit of a clean up first though. I'm not going to show you that because it's going to be disgusting. So I've got all that tidied up now. Uh, the face plate is fine. So this will be the front of the drawer. And it's just going to slide out. So what I'm going to do is just going to make it a friction fit. It's just going to slide out on the actual drawer itself. So So, got some of the measurements, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these down just a smidge because if I get that it's going to be a bit too tight. Um, and then we're going to go into the garage, into the shop, and make the drawer. Let's go. So I reckon I can get most of this out of this bit of wood here. Um, where did I put my tape measure on? Right, so I reckon I can get most of this out of this bit of birch ply because I need 240. So 540, which is fat wire. All right, so I've got, I think I've got enough here in order to do it. Right, I shouldn't be surprised because it's for Simmons, um, and they who built this house, but the actual space isn't square, and I didn't measure both sides. So this one, which will be the right-hand side of the drawer, fits perfectly fine, but these ones do not on the left. So I'm going to cut this, just going to just sort of take it off a little bit, uh, bit by bit, and uh, see if I can get a good snug fit. I've got everything to now fit in, so now it's just a case of sizing these up. So lengthwise, I need it to be 480 mil. Widthwise, it's going to be 540. So what I've just been doing is I've just been doing a very small rabbit rebate, dado, whatever you want to call it, um, out of these ones so I can fit in my ply. Um, now this is slightly thicker than my uh, table, table saw blade so I've had to go make two passes just to make sure and I wanted it to make sure it was a nice and snug fit. So uh, I actually cut it slightly oversized and I'm glad I did because it's actually a little bit too small on one of the edges. So I'm going to cut it about there and go from there. Okay, so I've just cut this massively too short. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? So now I've got the body of the drawer done, I'm going to take this inside and hope that it actually fits. Slide it in.
go. Nice, quick, easy draw for just a really convenient space that I had. And this is going to make things a lot easier in order to get trays and things away because we just don't have any space in this house at all. So, these can all go in there, all hidden away nicely and no longer clog up the oven when we're using it. But that's me done for this one. I will see you on whatever I'm building next. See you later. Thank you for watching that video. If you want to check out more, there's going to be some more over here somewhere um, for you to watch. Uh, check out my vlogs, check out uh, my other build videos or just some fun projects like the kunai, the hammer, things like that. And uh, I will see you on whatever I'm doing next. See you later.